Greetings, this is your girl, Vera Sky, Vera Sky's Essence. I thought I put an SD card in this phone, but whenever I go to the settings, it does not show the SD card settings. Something is awful about this phone right here. But I want to do a quick subject about soul deprivation, soul depreciation. I'm not quite sure if I'm saying it right, but... um. You can see when someone starts to lose their soul. You can see when they go down a path of no ret return. And you can see when they'll try to bring other people off their obstacle in the same pace. Like, nothing's wrong with being under the influence or doing anything you want to do as long as you're not accessible. As long as you're not jumpable, meaning as long as there's not a spirit able to become the seat of your soul, okay? Mm -hmm. Whether that be through technology, um, actual gins, demons, angels, or whatnot, like you utilize what manifested you in the flesh, that source energy needs to be the only thing that houses within you and then if you do allow something to work with your vessel they have to know their place and you have to set boundaries and they are not allowed to override or overtake or completely push out your source energy and have your body as an empty cedar or an open home to flowing uh, data information and gens, demons, angels, gods, and all the above, right? The reason why I say this, you can look at people when they have a turn for the worse. You know what I mean? You may think like, oh, you're going through things, but you can actually see uh, the animation of the person the, the eyes, the windows to their soul is like gone. Like somebody who has to drive and be in a driven force to do the same thing every day, dealing with their uh, escape, um, their influences. That's bad. That's not good. It takes a lot away from you. It takes a lot away from you. And when you see these people dwindle, you think you can help them. You can remind them and tell them certain things, but you really can't actually intervene. It's inevitable. Because if they don't realize they're harming themselves, they're being detached from their source energy, and something else is taking over. And whatever is taking over is willing to kill the host in the process of being one with that vessel. Okay? And it's sad. You you will grow attached to people that are are empty seaters, are now loner bodies. Um, they have no hope. Um, you have people that want to die before their parents die. You have people that uh, to death do us part. You have people that just have so much trauma in their life to the point where they just give up hope and we're not even going to get in on the parallel parasitic nature of things that would like to use your vessel mind and spirit and body and soul as a host just know you need to be aware of people who are being governed and controlled by other vices okay it's very important it's a very dark world for that being for that vessel Okay, because the light that naturally came into the body is no longer there. It probably left. The body is still intact. The body is still useful. The body is still functioning. Okay, and then, you know, some people make packs. Some people make packs. Okay, so you have to be mindful of that, too.
you know, they always say make a pact with the devil. Hell, you might have made a pact with the gods. You might have made a pact with the angels, the jinns, the demons. Not just the devil. So it's just something to think about. I just know that I've seen a lot of people go from vibrant to dark over over the process of years. I even think about um, a friend of mine, a hometown friend of mine. And I say, dang, she done gave up. She done gave up. And I think about it because as strong as I want to be, sometimes I feel like, like, is it easier to give up because I'm done fighting? You know, is it easier to give up? Like, you just go into deep rest. You know, they call it depression, but it's really deep rest. You go into deep rest. You blank everything out. You get away from the bullshit. You get away from the drama. You get away from everything. And you just say, you know what? Pep your shit up. Get it together. Um, and do what you can do. But it is sad to have attachment with people who you know are being embodied by another spirit other than their own, other than their rightful nature, other than what they were manifested to be, what they came through the portal of the womb to be, okay? It's just something to think about. How y'all like this? My mother ordered three wigs on Timu. I know the carcinogenics and all that, but we're not worried about that right now. This is nice. This is nice. And I pulled her hair in the front so it won't look like a wig. My friend said, baby, it looked like, yeah, you went out to the club last night and now it looks like you're about to go to church. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I must have had my top look like this. I don't know. But my friend said, smile. Oh, my mouth ain't showing me that. My top mouth ain't showing He said, smile. Let me see you smile. I said, what? He said, what happened to your gap? And I did like this. (laughs) I said, my gap is still here. But I could do a little flexing. Put that phone up like that. You'll never see it unless I smile. I like, but I love my gap. Like, if I do like this, you can imagine it being like solid, right? And I don't like it. I don't like it. I like this. I've been doing this my whole life. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see my tooth missing. Ah, it's missing. I used to don't smile that hard. Y'all can't usually see it. That space. Yeah. So, man, I've been in situations where... I know that a jinn, a daemon, a demon, some type of godly uh, parallel energy is around me through a vessel. And I hang out with them, I drink with them, I party with them. I've even gone on trips with them, and I know that they're they're not me. The, the energy that I am, they are not, okay? But, and most of the times... They leave and don't come back or they'll reach out or they'll text you or call you and make sure I'm still fine. Like, yeah, I got real close to you. I could have did anything I wanted to do to you, but I didn't do it, right? But then you have those that feed off your energy and you may grow attached to these forces. But as you can see, I didn't say demonic forces because they're not all demons. So you may grow attached to these forces. They may be useful. They may like to be around you, but you really have to detach because they can cipher your energy. They can take from you, not give you anything back in return. And, you know, it's more than a few out here. It's more than a few. Like you're dealing with the androids, the robots, the half human, half neuro monitor type hive mind people. You're dealing with uh, empty cedars. Like, you're dealing with so many 
types of humans, humanoid type of human-like people. And, you know, as long as they don't cross that boundary, physically you think you're fine, but they literally can cipher you parasitically through the parallels, okay? And remember this video is all allegedly because you never know what terminology YouTube is. <laughs> you, you, you just don't know like what they want to agree to today and what they don't want to agree to tomorrow. Yeah. But I'm enjoying myself though. Red lipstick. It's winter time. It's fall. Wearing the team a week. And my mom was like, oh my God, is that it? I was like, yeah, that's it. She said it makes your face look so soft. I said, baby, I got on makeup. And I don't have on any makeup. I just got on one powder foundation. One powder one lipstick. Okay. So I'm going to get off here. I got a few things to do. And until next time, unearth the magic, the truth will definitely set you free. Mm -hmm.